Uh, good morning everyone so in the last class recall that we discussed the chromatic number of a graph which means that you need to color the vertices so that no two adjacent vertices should have the same color and then we need to find the least number of the colors to color the graph there does not exist a simple algorithm which can helps us to compute the chromatic number but we are going to discuss a grading algorithm to compute or to give the colors to the vertices which may not guarantee that it is the minimum number of the colors but a proper coloring and it is based on the Brooks theorem which says that the chromatic number of G is less than or equal to delta G. It means using the greedy theorem we can give a coloring with delta colors. So algorithm is quite easy it says that you start with any vertex, color it 1, then keep picking the vertices. Doesn't matter which vertex you are picking. If it is non-adjacent to it or to non-adjacent to all the uncolored vertices, then you try to see that you can try to give it the color which has already been used if possible. If not, then only introduce a new color. This is the idea. It would be clear with the example. So let's assume that this is the graph and we need the greedy algorithm to give the color in the following order. So we start with G and let's say we give the color 1 here. Now L is adjacent to G so color 2 and H is adjacent to both of them so we give color 3 here. Moving further, the next is P and M. So P is adjacent to 1 and 2, but it is not adjacent to H. Therefore, the color 3 can be used here and similarly color 3 can be used for M. Moving further, the next is A. So A is adjacent to blue, it is adjacent to green, it is adjacent to but it is not adjacent to red so it means color 2 can be given here if you see i then i is adjacent to blue and red but not green so color 1 can be given here and then there remains s and c so if you see s then s is adjacent to all the three colors so you need to introduce a new color here which is color 4 and then C is adjacent to color 2 and color 4 which means the color 1 can be used for C. So color 1 has been used for C but we introduce a new color here. So this is the greedy algorithm. We have we managed to color it using 4 colors. But if we change the order then we may require more colors. But at most 6 colors because the maximum degree is 6. So you can try this example by yourself in this order. I can quickly show you. So A, I, P are non-adjacent. Therefore color 1 works here. Next is M and S which are non-adjacent but they are adjacent to green. Therefore color 2 has been given. Then C and H. So C and H again they are adjacent to green as well as red. And therefore the new color was required because they are not adjacent among themselves. So the third color is given to them. Next is L. Now L is adjacent to all three colors. You can see here green, blue and red. So I need a fourth color here. And after L the next is G. Now you can see that G is adjacent to red, yellow, green as well as blue. So I need a new color, the fifth color for G. And you can see that when we change the order then five colors are required which clearly shows that this greedy algorithm does not gives us the chromatic number but it gives a proper coloring with at most delta g colors so next important topic is the planar graphs we have to see that what would be the maximum number of the colors which are required to color a planar graph so this is a very very interesting and powerful result 
because you can see that the planar graph would have million of vertices but we can only it is easy and it is feasible to color the planar graph with only or with maximum five colors such an interesting result it is known as the five color theorem so we will use the induction on n n means the number of the vertices so the result is clearly true for n is less than 6 why is it so think over it because if n is 5 then the simplest coloring is we can give the different color to all the vertices either they are adjacent or non adjacent because we have 5 available colors are there so therefore 5 coloring is possible if we have lesser than 6 vertices so we mainly need to prove the result when n is greater than or equal to 6 and by induction we assume that the result is true for all the planar graphs on n minus 1 or lesser vertices and we need to prove the result with n vertices now we'll use the same technique we need to delete one vertex we use the induction on the remaining graph g minus v and we put back v and we have to color this vertex v the question is that how do we identify v what should property it should hold so that we can proceed further should we pick any random vertex or it should have some property the hint is this relation does there any vertex which has this relation with number 5 so if you recall that then in Euler formula there was a question which says that a planar graph always contains one vertex or at least one vertex whose degree is 5 or less than 5. Not all vertex, we proved it by contradiction, very easy uh, contradiction is there. So if we choose V having degree less or 5, then it's comparatively easy to prove the result. So now we remove V and for the remaining graph which is G minus V we can color it with 5 colors yes now we put back V when we put back, back V then there are two possibilities either its degree is 5 or it's less than 5 if degree of V is less than 5 let's say it's 4 then we know that there is one graph G minus V where five colors are there and V is adjacent to four vertices. If one, two, three, four, these four colors are given to the neighbors, worst case, then fifth color can be given to V. So not a problem. So next uh, possibility is degree V is equal to five. So the same there is G minus V and it is 5. But it may happen that that only 3 or 4 colors are required by its neighbors. So therefore the at least one color is available different color 4 or 5 and then we are done. So it means that the most complicated case is this one G minus V five neighbors are there one two three four five and they have used all the five colors it means we do not have and we have to color the graph with five colors only we cannot use the sixth color what will happen in this case this is the only case that need to be discussed so if degree is less than equal to four not a problem if degree is 5, so let's assume the degree is 5, but if the neighbors can be colored with 4 or lesser colors, then again not a problem. So we need to assume this case where there is V and the neighbors are colored with 5 colors. To prove it, we will consider two cases. So the first case is we just randomly pick two vertices red and yellow. So the first case is there is no alternating path is starting at red vertex and ending at yellow vertex. So let's discuss the case one then we will come to the case two.
what does the case one says so case one says that there is a red there is a yellow and how does an alternating path look like so then yellow then red then yellow then red and then yellow so there is a path which is alternatively colored with red and yellow only. yes so if there is a path like this then you cannot change the color or you cannot interchange these two colors it means this is not possible that you make this red yellow because then this has to make red you have to make yellow then red then yellow but there is already yellow here yes so the point is there is no alternating path so if there is no alternating path then there is the possibility you have yellow here you have red here and you can think of some subgraph where after yellow there is red let's say here there is something like this there is something like this but it is not reaching here yes and after that there can be green or blue or something like this so what you do is that on one side you interchange the color on this side i am not disturbing but on this side you interchange red and yellow so if you see this condition then you interchange it you make red here then yellow here you make yellow red and rest remains as it is green blue whatever colors are there so what exactly happened is that you replace yellow with red because there is no alternating path if there is an alternate path there is a problem and since it get interchanged then red becomes here red becomes here which means yellow is free now so one color is free which you give to the middle vertex v and we are done something like this now what case 2 says is that that there is a alternating path something like this between red and yellow in that case think over it that what can be done so the idea is in that case we are guaranteed that there are two vertices where there is no alternating path for example blue and green because if there is an alternating path here then there is a crossing but we know that the graph is planar since there is no alternating path between blue or green so therefore again what we did for yellow and red we'll do it here so we'll make it blue and that green color is available here so again fifth color is available for v and therefore planar graph can always be colored with at most five colors so very interesting result but the more powerful result says that for a planar graph the chromatic number should be at most four this is a more strict bound the proof is very tedious so i am not going into the detail of this proof but it's important to remember this result so the next question says that consider a simple connected planar graph with 17 edges and 10 vertices and then you need to show that it cannot be colored with two colors yes cannot be colored with two colors it means that it should not be bipartite okay there can be many ways to prove it but recall that for a planar graph the maximum number of the edges are 2p minus 4 if it is bipartite so for a planar bipartite graph it is 2p minus 4 here p is 10 so it is 10 multiplied by 2 20 minus 4 it should be less than 16 so if it is bipartite then its maximum its bipartite and planar then the maximum number of the edges is 16 but it is given that it has 17 edges which means that it cannot be bipartite and which means that it cannot be colored with two colors because of course it is also not a null graph okay moving further the next one says that consider a simple graph containing no triangles 
okay so no triangles means that it has all the faces of length at least four show that it has a vertex of degree at most three so if this condition was not there containing no triangle then the result was it has a vertex of degree at most five yes now it has no triangles it means each face length is at least four so now recall the result in case of the bipartite graph when each face length was 4 then m was 2n minus 4 yes now the face length can be 5 6 and 7 and therefore this inequality becomes m is less than equal to 2n minus 4 yes because the result which you are getting is we are multiplying by 4f but instead of 4f more edges are there it can be 5f 6x and therefore it must have more edges than m and the result is this which tells me that 2m is less than 4n minus 8 now we have to prove that g has a vertex of degree at most 3 so by contradiction it means that g has no vertex of degree at most 3 which means that all the vertices have degree greater than equal to 4 so all the vertices have degree greater than equal to 4 which means that degree sum is greater than equal to 4n but we have already seen that the degree sum should be less than equal to 4n minus 8 which is a contradiction yes so this technique we have already used next says that use this result to show that the chromatic number is at most 4 this we have done it already you just need to relate it to the questions which we did today and yesterday so if there is a vertex of degree at most 4 so let u be the vertex whose degree is at most 3 sorry then you use the induction and think of g minus u so g minus u can be colored with four colors so this is g minus u which can be colored with four colors and degree of u is at most three so worst case is three so you can give three colors let's say you give three colors to all the neighbors but it's still fourth color is available here because we need to show that the chromatic number is we can it's uh, the chromatic number is at most four so we need to show the four color so you can always be colored with the fourth color okay so that's all from today's class in the next class we will talk about edge chromatic number thank you